Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. And today we're going to be doing something very different. So, <laughs> um, I just recently purchased the Valve Index, which is a VR headset. And I've been looking for ways to implement it into a uh, farming simulator so that we can do some uh, logging with VR. Now, I hadn't really found any really good ways because the game doesn't really support VR uh, out of the box. So, I got this program called uh, Virtual Desktop. And basically what it does, is, as you can see me looking around here, it spans my entire uh, screen in kind of a, a concave shape so that I can see everything um, kind of similar to the way I have my actual monitor set up. Um, except there's no bezels, there's no nothing, it's super clean, um, and it's very interesting operating with it. I've been playing with it over the last little bit, and it's, it's pretty darn cool. So... Um, I'm definitely planning on using this. Like, I find myself an actual better, better <clears throat> operator while I'm uh, while I'm in VR because the it's not necessarily depth perception, but it's just the uh, the scale maybe that lets it feel like you're actually working in the machine. It makes you much much better at operating. It's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, it's not 100% true VR, obviously, because if I look around, you can see kind of the borders of my screen and stuff, but. When I'm operating, I just get right into it. It's very similar to using my own uh, my own monitor array of three monitors that I have set up. Um, but this way, you guys can almost get like a GoPro look at what I'm looking at while I'm operating, like when I'm looking around my screens. Because normally, you guys just get kind of a fixed image on the center. But this is uh, this is pretty neat. So I was going to do just kind of some uh, some demo stuff here. I might have to move my table back. Yeah, if I if I do implement this into um, into logging, I think it will be probably just its own series without commentary. Cause it's actually really difficult to keep my head arched over talking into my microphone while I use VR. But like I said, you can really you know look around the cab kind of. Obviously, there's some some distortion on the side. That's why it looks a little stretched um, on both sides. But it's it's very cool. And like I said, you do feel the presence of the equipment you feel how heavy everything is it's really neat it's just this big big thing but yeah no the um i've never really I, I played around with vr in the past but i never really um used it that much because the quality of the screens was not quite good enough for gaming it was fun to have vr experiences and stuff but um it wasn't like i said the quality for the gaming just wasn't there but now with this uh this new Valve's headset, it's actually quite excellent. And I just woke up, so I'm trying to figure out how to bunch again, because it's been a while. <laughs> and then we'll just pile that over there, whatever. But yeah, it's, it's really cool to be able to just kind of glance around. And like I said, it's very, very similar to having my own, like, my monitor set up that I have right now with the three monitors in front of me. Very similar, but it's just bigger. It's like having... It's like having three or four monitors connected together that are all, you know, 70 inches pig or something. It's pretty cool. It's funny because whenever I get out of the VR now from playing in the game, my, um, it's actually, my monitors feel so tiny now. <laughs> and the cool part is, like, I can actually use this as my legit desktop. So I think as the future of VR continues, eventually I think monitors won't even be a thing anymore. I think monitors will be replaced by really good VR headsets when we get to that point, but we'll see. So like I said, this is just kind of, I'm just kind of testing it out here to show it off. Um, I have another machine I was going to show up. Oh, this is really cool, being in the dozer. So being in the dozer and plowing, if I can find the Y key on my keyboard with my headset on, to kind of peek through there, I think that's it. There you go. But to be able to plow in VR is so freaking cool. Being able to look around and see stuff, it's 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 really neat. Now, I was never a big fan of plowing to start with, but being able to, like, look out your side window and to see my distances on my plow because it's so, um, it's so close. Like, it feels like I can, I'm looking out the window like it's legit. It may not obviously feel like that to you as a viewer because you're not seeing what I'm seeing, but... Yeah, the uh, the Vive is pretty cool, and and again, I said this isn't true VR. Obviously, there's no depth perception. It's not 3D. There's no stereoscopic. Um, but just to have this experience to be like kind of inside the cab of the machine 
is pretty darn cool. It's it's almost too cool. But yeah, no, this is fun. And like I said, I, I'm normally not a guy that really cares for bulldozing since it feels like monotonous. But to do it in VR is so cool. <laughs> it's just so trippy. So 10 out of 10 for VR. Now, is this the next revolution of, you know, VRing? Uh, I wouldn't say it's quite 100% there yet. There's still lots of, uh, lots of stuff that needs to be worked on before it's going to be 100%. But it's a darn good start. Oh, here, let's use the processor real quick. I'm getting a little bit of input lag probably because I, uh, I got some other programs running in the background here. So that's my own fault. But normally she's pretty smooth. I just wanted to kind of do a quick little video to show it off because I thought it was so interesting. And it it's, uh, yeah, when I, when I actually warm up here, it actually makes me... The other night I was operating and I was just like, I cannot believe how much easier it is to operate. Like sitting back on my regular monitors, like it, it's, uh, it, it's almost like it feels like everything's so small. Like here it feels like that, that head is so big and I can see all the little detail and I can see exactly where the saw cuts for piling. I can see every little detail and it, I don't know, it's just crazy. <laughs> Like I said, I, I, I've had all the different VR headsets going all the way back to the very first Oculus. Um, but the quality with the screen door effect and the, you know, distance pixelization and stuff was so bad before that you couldn't really, you couldn't really play very well. But now, like I said, I'm just laughing because it's like, wow, I can actually, I can look over in the distance and I can actually see clarity. Like I can see really far without having any problem uh, when in the other headsets I could maybe see just past kind of the processor head maybe like that bush and then everything else would just be solid pixelization that you couldn't see past and now um, I can see all the way up to the top of that hill up there and it looks I mean it's not 100% but it looks very legible you know it's clear and I can read text and stuff which is yeah that's it's wild absolutely wild um, like I said, the VR headsets are horrendously expensive to get into, but it's it's a really big hobby of mine that I've always loved. Um, so, you know, price doesn't usually bother me when it comes to something I really like. But it is it is super cool. Anyway, um, I'm definitely going to have future videos using VR in this kind of look-around mode. There probably will not be commentary because, as I said, like, as I'm looking around, my head's over here, and you can't hear the audio, and I go over here, and then it's, you know, kind of cuts out. But I would like to implement this into a series, even um, into the new upcoming Full Throttle Logging series, which is coming, um, where I'm just literally logging. So I might do a couple episodes of that where I use VR strictly, but it's it's pretty cool. So yeah, anyway, uh, thanks to you guys for taking a look. I just wanted to show it off because I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys are getting into VR and you want to try something funky, Virtual Desktop and uh, this game is definitely a, a fun combination. All right, guys, we'll, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.